Blog Talk Radio. host Davida Shinsky. You're listening to Live Without Limits and we're coming to you on the Blog Talk Radio Network. Today we're going to talk about the seven simple tactics to increase your focus and productivity 52% or more by tomorrow. We live in a world that bounds and determined to sabotage our goals. Every day, the average American is exposed to more than 5,000 advertisements, a barrage of click, bait, and irresistible social media platforms, never-ending streams of high-quality television, and innumerable other distractions. We live in a world that is working against us. It doesn't want to stay focused. It doesn't want you to do great work. It doesn't want you to succeed, but I do. And today, I've compiled to a list of seven simple but wildly effective tactics that will help you improve your productivity and focus on 50% more as soon as tomorrow morning. What we mean by staying focused is very simple. That there's always going to be noise out there or distraction. We live in the world of information overload. So if you don't know how to stay focused on task and do what you need to do to to achieve a goal, to work your activities, to plan, then you are bound to fail. Back many years ago, because my sister is deaf, she was often told that she could never hold a job, that she could never live on her own, that she could never think for herself. So when she was in school, instead of focusing in on the goal of an education and employment, she would listen to everyone else and what they were taking. And because she had such low self-esteem, she would go take all of these courses simply to prove to herself that she was as good as they are. The idea is to not let that noise affect you and stay focused on your goal, to plan it, to plan your time. If you do not have a plan and you don't know how to work a plan, then you will allow all these distractions to come into your life. Know your body clock and find your magic time. Despite what you've been told by mainstream media and many popular gurus, there are, in fact, a number of elite performers who wake up after the sun rises. Although There is undeniable merit to the concept of the 5 5 a.m. club. It should not be seen as a panacea to your personal or professional challenges, nor should it be seen as a mass prescription for success, because it's not. Different individuals function on different chromotypes or biological clocks. And as such, you must learn to tailor your life and schedule to your natural biological processes. Some people effortlessly rise at 5 a.m. every morning and immediately possess the mental facilities to dive into their most important work within with vim and vigor. 
others like me are incapable of forming complete sentences before the hour of 7 a.m. or at least two cups of coffee. And it's important to note that according that according to Dr. David Gross, one of the foremost sleep specialists in the United States, your chromotype is biological. Being a night owl or early riser doesn't make you better or worse than anyone else. It's simply a part of your unique biology. Much like your height or the size of your ears, your chromotype may shift or change over time, but there is very little you can do to consciously influence it. You are simply left with the choice to fight with it or against it. If you want to maximize your focus and increase your productivity, I encourage you to fight with it. When you work in accordance with your biology, everything becomes easier. You work when your brain is the most capable of producing great work, and you rest when your brain needs rest. As simple as this tactic may sound, if applied correctly, it can be an absolute game changer. This week, I want you to take Dr. Bruce's sleep chronotype quiz and keep an hourly log of your subjective energy levels so you can find those two to three peak hours during which you should schedule your most important work. Go to sleep when you feel tired and wake up when your body tells you to wake up to ensure that your sleep cycle works for you. And then let me know what you discovered down in the components be, and I'd love to hear from, if you found anything surprising or counterintuitive. Another way of looking at it is this, is that our body has certain types of biorhythms. There are peaks and valleys that we experience at any given time. Therefore, if you understand your body and what makes you work, and what makes you function, then it's the best way to help you to grow and experience what it is that will put you exactly where you want to be. Create location-based anchors. One of the most powerful yet least utilized productivity and focus hacks is the intentional creation of a location-based anchor, as an anchor is simply an external stimuli that triggers your brain to go into a particular state. For example, if you've ever been to Tony Robbins' event, you know that one of his favorite exercises is to get the entire crowd amped up and then instruct them to make a specific physical gesture and to anchor the emotional state into their body. Then when the power within has fallen back asleep and destiny is flaking on its date, attendees will bring themselves back into the motivated and energetic seminar state with the clench of a fist or the clap of the hands. To increase your productivity and control your focus, you're going to take this tactic to step further. Instead of just simply a gesture movement, you are going to create an entire series of anchors to help you get into your most productive state each week. And you're going to do it by following a very specific routine to the letter. First, you need to pick an inspiring location in which 
you will work every day. It could be a co-working space, home office, coffee shop, whatever. It doesn't matter so long as you can commit to working there every day. In that location, pick a particular desk or a chair in which you will work. Again, it doesn't matter where it is so long as you can work there every day. If you're at a restaurant, a coffee shop, order the same thing every day. If you're at an office, bring the same food or beverages with you. When you sit down to work, play the same song. Mine is box, cello, suite, and G through a set of noise-canceling headphones. These are a game changer. And plug in a biannual beat track. Then, the most importantly, do not allow yourself to do anything except work from this location. This isn't where you read your favorite blog, take calls from your spouse, or watch cat videos on YouTube. It's where you work, period. After a couple of weeks of this, your brain will begin to catch on and you'll notice a slight bump in your productivity. After a month, the, the improvements will be even more marked. And after 6 to 12, the simple habit will make you unstoppable. What we're talking about here is how to form habits. And what that means is that you do a routine on a daily basis. That's why if you look at when people retire after many years of working up at working, when they get up at a specific time, they're in the office at a specific time, the idea is because we're no longer in a situation where we work in an office, but we work from home. You have to set up a workspace, and you have to close that door and let your family know that during this time, you are not to be disturbed because that is your work time. And that means that you are there to work, and you've set up your routine in a way that you know exactly what you're doing when. Use these supplements. Before I dive into the secrets of better focus through chemistry, I must preface this section with a simple caveat. Smart drugs and no nootropics work, but they work best when coupled with a healthy lifestyle. When you are active throughout the day, engaged in strength training throughout the week, sleeping eight to nine hours a night, eating a clean diet, and spending time relaxing with friends and family, there aren't a cure all. And despite what you might have read in the dark recesses of the internet. There is no limitless pill. Trust me, I've spent more than $3,000 testing this stuff. But if you already live in a healthy lifestyle and are simply looking for an added edge to your performance, here's a list of supplements that will improve your focus and productivity and these respective studies behind them. L-tyrosine, Becco, Becker, Monomy, Creatine, CDP, Chlorine, and Caffeine. And Caffeine is the one that we know of the most. If you're looking for an all-in-one new tropic to enhance focus, creativity, and motivation, I'd also encourage you to check out Qualia from Neuro Catcher Collective. And their 
it's a bit of expensive M, but it's a far and away my favorite smart drug. And it saves you the time and hassle creating customized supplement stacks to epitomize your brain. But with any advice you receive on the internet, that encourages you to tamper with your bio neurochemistry. Be sure to do the research for yourself and talk to a knowledgeable healthcare practitioner before embarking down the dangerous road of smart drugs and biohacking. It's always acceptable and important that you don't just listen to what people say, but that you do and hear from the things that will teach you, educate you on what's important. And you know, you never know what's in drugs. And there's a lot of companies out there that make supplements. You've got GNC, which sells supplements. The problem is when you go to those stores, you don't always have people who are knowledgeable about the supplements unless they own the store and they carry something for a specific reason. So that's why it's always important to do your research first before you take anything. Read more slowly. With all the tablets, smartphones, and other e-readers, the consumption of written online content has gone to a staggering 40% in recent years. Amazing, right? Because according to the study conducted by Slate and website analytics company Chartbeat, fewer than 5% of readers finish the articles and blog posts on which they click. We're no longer reading online. We're skimming right before we hop over to yet another piece of content that we will leave half-read and unfinished. To improve your focus and increase your productivity, you must first increase your attention span. You must have the capacity to focus all of your attention on one thing without interruption or distraction for a prolonged period of time. Yet, modern culture makes it difficult for you to accomplish this aim. Each and every day, you're bombarded with advertisements, clickbait, and see of the content in which you can lose yourself, but you struggle to fully consume and internalize any of it. To to remedy the situation, I have a simple challenge for you. Read more slowly. Don't just skim through content. Read it through until the very end. Instead of be reading 100 business books every morning, take half an hour and read a classic work of fiction or an inspiring biography. Train yourself to regain control of your attention and channel your focus where you not some advertiser or marketer want it to go and start by picking up a copy of War and Peace and reading that sucker through until the very end. Hate me now, thank you later. But thank me later. Because we are bombarded with so much information and we're also the era of the MTV age. What that means is music videos or anything. It was done in such short spurts of 30 seconds to a minute that attention spans, instead of getting longer, got shorter. So what we're talking about here is how do you take and increase your knowledge without taking away 
from, who you are, and where you want to be on an ongoing, long-term basis. And think about all of those things and the knowledge that it brings to you. So therefore, it's important to be aware of how you work and understand how you can learn and focus because what we need to do is basically retrain our brains from being those three minutes to 10 minutes, 20 minutes, to truly focus on what it is that you need to be focused on. Take more breaks. Counterintuitive, though it might be, recent studies have shown that one of the fastest ways to improve your focus and productivity is to actually work less and take more breaks. And when you think about these things, this actually makes a lot of sense. Your brain, like your muscles, and your body become fatigued after prolonged periods of use. In fact, because of the the energy required to sustain long periods of intense focus, your brain does consume 20% of your body's calories. Long hours behind your desk can physically exhaust you too. Yet most of us try to push through them erroneously, believing that taking an hour-long lunch or dipping away from a quick cat nap makes us weak and lazy. The truth is, frequent breaks and at least one 60 to 90-minute break can increase your productivity upwards of 20%. This means if you adhere to the standard eight-hour workday, you will actually earn back 1.6 hours of productivity time while only losing one and one and a half. Furthermore, breaks give you separation from work and the ability to re-examine big projects with a more objective eye. That one sentence you can't seem to write. That one sales proposal you just can't finish. That one sales campaign where you can't seem to optimize the sales. And make sure to take 90 minutes to eat lunch, take a nap, or talk with someone you love. And I promise you'll solve your problem during the next block of work. Frequent breaks, although counter to everything you've ever been taught about success and work ethic, allow you to work better, focus deeper, and create like a true empire builder. Have you ever worked in telemarketing where you're you're literally reading a script and doing nothing but dialing numbers from constantly? Do you notice that every hour they get a five-minute break away from what they're doing? And that's important to understand because with those breaks, What they're doing is they're giving themselves time to recharge their batteries, to make everything work exactly the way it should on an ongoing basis. Therefore, if you're aware that taking breaks will help you with productivity, because when you when you're constantly trying to figure something out, what are you doing? You're really taxing your brain. You're, 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 you're getting so focused that 
you're really tiring yourself out because the brain, just like anything else, is a muscle. Therefore, look at it as a way of rejuvenating yourself every so often. Monotask. Although you might have written a great multitasker as a strength on your resume 20 years ago, you wouldn't want to do it now. The reason is simple. According to every cognitive science study conducted over the last 50 plus years, at least all the good ones, your brain is incapable of multitasking. Not in efficient, incapable. According to the Harvard Business Review, it takes time, an average of 15 minutes, to reorient to a primary task after a distraction, such as an email. Efficiency can drop by as much as 40%. Long-term memory suffers and creativity is reduced. 40%. You cannot multitask, so stop trying it now. Quit answering emails while writing blog posts or checking social media while talking to a client or trying to play a game on your phone while working on a sales funnel. Play when you play. Work when you work. And when you work, only work on one thing at a time, period. Multitasking, although we want to say that we can multitask really great, is always something that, if looked at correctly, will only take you in a certain direction. Destroy distraction or try to destroy you. Finally, to boost your focus and become more productive so you can achieve those big goals and dreams you've set for yourself, you might destroy the distractions in your life or they will destroy you. When you're distracted by shiny objects, well-intended co-workers, family members, and constant stream of notifications and updates are incapable of tapping into flow or engaging a true deep work. Instead, your work will shadow, dull, and incomplete, a mere skeleton of what you could achieve in a state of adulterated focus. So remember this, distraction is the one thing that can take you and put you in a place that you truly don't want to be. Because if you get distracted from doing your work, then what are you doing? You're putting yourself in a place where you have to refocus every time. That's why it's so important to understand exactly what you're doing and to figure out what it is that you need to focus on because once you are focused on a goal and working towards that goal, then you can achieve more. And remember, we talked about supplements, but supplements can only help if you understand exactly what they do. And remember, you can go to my website, and that website is the number one, personalcareercoach.com, and you can sign up for both individual and group coaching, and you can read some articles that can help you on building your own business.